What's good, YouTube? It's your boy DJ here, man. Thank you for checking in to another Bro Golf video. Um, this is part two of trying to shooting in the 80s, you know what I'm saying? Uh, pretty much trying to play a little bit of bogey golf. And what a lot of people, what I don't think I explained into the last video was that um, in order to shoot in the 80s, it's not as difficult as you make it seem. You know, most courses are par 72. So if you get a bogey on every hole, which is 18 strokes, you get a bogey on every hole, 18 strokes, that's a 90 that you'll be shooting, if I'm not mistaken. Is that a 90? Something like that. Yeah, it's a 90. So either or. So all thing you got to do really to shoot in the 89 is 17 bogeys and just one pump. 17 bogeys and one pump. So hopefully that can take a lot of pressure off you, you know what I'm saying, a lot of pressure off some of you golfers out there, especially some of the newcomers like me. You know, like I said, I've only been playing for about two years, two and a half years, just getting into the game. So, you know, and I've been struggling trying to break that 80 consistently. You know, I shoot in 92, 94, blah, 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 but I've been playing golf for two and a half years and I've probably shot in the 80s about five times. And I play golf at least twice a week, you know what I'm saying? Well. I used to play twice a week, but now we just getting back into the groove of things. But uh, yeah, so hopefully y'all like part one. If you didn't get a chance to see it, it should be somewhere right here. Just click on that video, you know, see how I did on part one. I think I shot about yeah, yeah, over. You know, so I ain't gonna say what I shot over, you know what I'm saying, until y'all just go check the video and check it out for yourself. Uh, right now, we started on the front nine, because we started on the back nine on part one. So this is part two, they got us on the front nine. It's a part five, 442 yards. I have a five wood in my hand. <laughs> 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 We're gonna just try to put one real smooth out there into the fairway, you know, and that's pretty much it. Nothing more, nothing less. Down the middle, short of the creek. We got a nice little bounce. Oh, slow down. Hold on, though. Okay. We good. Short of the creek. That's exactly what we want to see. Let's get it started. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's get it on. Y'all should already know who was out here balling. Mr. Will shot himself. Hey, man, go on. You don't give a, uh, Will shot a little shout out, man. Tell the people to come through and check y'all out. Come through, check us out. What's here doing? every day? 1570 Bridgeton Road, Wilshire Golf Course, family owned and run. Hey, man, we appreciate you, man. Everything y'all do, man. Thank you, man. Always. How you getting them out there? That's me up the second closest one. That's his practice shot, the closest one. Ooh. Don't, don't give him. Any credit. <laughs> we got no, to. That was, that was a mulligan. <laughs> Y'all hit him well, fella. See you, man. All right, now. Booster day, baby. You already know. All right, in the fairway. Ain't nothing, like, ain't nothing better than when the game plan comes together. Let's go. Okay, so my ball ended up. I think I had a little bit of miscalculation about my distance. I still got a good 140 to the green, uh, 146 to the pin. But you know, it's still a nice little smooth 99 up there for me. Not sure what it is for y'all, but for me, it's smooth 99. So we'll see if we can get it up there close, man. Get up there. Get up there. Oh, just a little short. When she right there around the green, we still putting for birds, so let's go get it. This one of all ended up. See all that green right there. It's just a small green, you know, but it's all good. No excuses, no exceptions. 
you know, we're gonna set this camera up on this side here. And hopefully we can cut this. Well, a lot of people would probably chip that. But you know, I'm gonna cut it. You know, I feel comfortable cutting. It's all good. It's all good. We're still in a good position. Two cuts for a bolt. But you know, it's fine. This is. I feel like moving the camera. Hope y'all can still see the hole. And drop this for the party. I mean, for the bird. Hold up. Yeah, party. You know, the right person. Just getting past the hole. It's all good. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna end up for bowl. You know. Feel good. I told y'all on the first video, even though I wasn't on the green, you know, it was close enough to putt. And I told you for some reason that's one of my kryptonites. Hitting the green in regulation and three putt. I don't know why, just something that gets in my head. I gotta work on that. But you know, we got a bowl. That was the goal. Let's keep it moving. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna be on the part three. I'm gonna the bowl again for the part three. Part three, 145 yards to the green. Uh, I mean, hole number three, part four, 145 yards. Uh, see if we can play a nice little fade out there. It's a little lake up there, not sure if y'all saw that, if I already recorded that part, but it's a little lake up there. So, I'm gonna aim for the lake. Cause like I said, I play a fade, so hopefully it'll fade on over to the right. I'm not gonna say hopefully, that's what's about to happen. Let's go. He faded. But I had to, my target line was off. Alright, we should be alright though. What are we doing? Oh, uh, trying to see. Oh, there it is. Alright, y'all. On to the next one. Alright, well, on to the ball. Let's go get it. Not sure if y'all can see me because of this beautiful sunset I have behind me. My ball is right here. Uh, 120 yards from the green. So I have a pitching wedge here. Try to get a good strike on it, land it up on the green. You know, uh, I apologize in advance if the sun is in y'all way. I don't know if y'all can't see because of the sun. Fast forward through this part if that's the case for you. I'm trying to make a good shot. see exactly half of there but hopefully we got a good shot let's go see okay guys this is where my ball ended up perfectly in line with the flag that um you know i just happened to miss the green which is okay it's okay you know say so if you're gonna miss this one you can miss it too i'm gonna try to do a little bump around my pitching degree my pitching wedge and before anyone says, you know, oh, he uses pitching wedge oh, all the time. Why he using 50 deg 54 degree or 60 degree? Right now, what I'm trying to focus on is more of a comfort shot. I feel like I can chip fairly well with my 56 and my 60 degree. But, um, you know, I feel a little bit more comfortable with this pitching wedge. So that's the club I'm going to use. I'm going to use whatever feels comfortable. And I'm going to try to keep this thing rolling. We're we playing pretty good golf. Let's go get it. And honestly, I, I'm one to be honest, I want to admit it. On that last bumper run, I probably should have chipped it because at first I just analyzed the distance. 
I was like, okay, that's the distance that you know I like to use my pitching wedge when I bump and run. But once I stood over the ball and I saw the way, I saw the lie. The lie was a very tight lie, you know, and uh, I, I don't, I, I'm not too comfortable with my pitching wedge on those particular lies. So normally I would get a 56 or a 60, but I figured I was already there. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't out of my comfort zone, but I could have been way more comfortable than what I was. But it's okay. We're on the green, putt for Paul. Got about a good nine footer. See if we can't drop it. Call that the prom date, you know what I'm saying? A lot of lip, no hole. It's okay. <laughs> on to the next one. Okay, beautiful people, we're here on hole number four, par five, playing 480 yards. We got driver on the tee box. You know my game, the boots he fades, you know what I'm saying? So, aim off of this tree, put it back into the fairway. You know, have a nice shot into the green. Oh, oh. Ain't no hopefully. That's what's gonna happen. Situation. Let's go. Okay, guys. So, unfortunately, I couldn't find my ball. Um, it's probably someone one of these little high grass patches. Not quite really sure. Normally, when I play with the guys, this is normally a no ball. This is one of those drop ball, no stroke situations. But to keep the video as authentic as possible, um, I took my drop. I actually dropped the ball and I forgot the camera wasn't rolling because I was frustrated that I didn't find my ball but it's getting dark so I had to make a decision you know so dropping on two we're hitting three uh 213 to the green we're gonna try to stay positive it's okay it's, it's all right you know so there we go I got a five wood in my hand smooth little five wood nothing not trying to force anything I'm gonna get something smooth out Short of the green, no good shot, still got a bogey opportunity. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna grab my pitching wedge here. This is my ball landed. No, just short and left of the green. Not necessarily a bad spot. No, I'm gonna try to chip one up there close. And we may still be able to, you know, salvage a part here. You know, this is our fourth shot after that drop ball. I hated that drop ball. The thing I hate most about it is that I had, that's the ball that I started off on hole 10 with. You know, so I wanted to go the whole round without losing a ball. Just because a lot of people don't understand that how hurtful losing a ball can do to your round. You know what I'm saying? Like I got guys that I play with that lose four, five, six balls around. And then they wonder how they shot a 102 or a 98. You know, it's those lost balls, man. You got to, you know, keep those balls in play. If not in play, at least find them. Like that ball should have been found. I don't know, <laughs> but it is what it is. But our, our problem with a lot of us amateur golfers is that we get those glove, we get those clubs that we really don't have control over. We're sending them in the woods. We're sending them in the water. We don't know the distances of them. So you know. Uh, I really felt like 
this video, I've been keeping those balls in play, you know, because I've been choosing the clubs that I was comfortable with hitting. Lead off. See if we can get this close. And maybe play the ball. Maybe the golf guys will look out for us since they put their balls on. Oh, uh, not really, but you know, still got a par putt. So let's go try to get it. Now the sun going down pretty quickly, so you may hear me breathing a little heavy, trying to navigate through holes quicker than normal. Y'all saw the sunset back there on hole number, whatever it was. So yeah, let's try to get it. Okay, lost ball bogey, you know, that's fine with me. I hate them, but you know, it is what it is. On to the next hole. Okay, y'all, so after coming down to my ball, I don't know if y'all can see it over there and the leaves, right beside that little green thing right there. So I had a pitching wedge coming up to my ball, but uh, then I said, looking at the lie, I felt comfortable when I got my hybrid. We'll be proud. We're going to ride up. I'm going to keep it on record so we can ride up, see where that ball landed together. Now, I'm not quite sure exactly where it landed, but it felt good coming out of it. And again, goes back to what I was saying on part one, and I've said a little bit here on part two. Hit the club you feel comfortable hitting. It doesn't matter the distance. It doesn't matter, you know, what what hole you want? None of that shit. Man. Like whatever you feel comfortable hitting, hit it. Let's ride up and see what she looking like. Look at that! Look at that hybrid shot. Punch off of the woods. Left myself about a good seven feet for a bird. You know. Felt comfortable with the shot. See if we can't capitalize here with a decent putt. You know what I mean? And again, not putting any pressure on ourselves. You know, uh, if we miss, okay, we'll leave it close and hopefully put it in for Paul. If not, we'll have a tap in ball. I knew she was going to break left or right. Wasn't sure how. You know, so good. Let's take that par. Let's go on to the next hole. Par three. Let's get it. All right, man. So here we are on hole number seven, par four. Paying 340 yards. Um, I apologize. I didn't get that tee shot on that last hole at par six. But this leads to another point that I want to make about rushing. You know, when you're on the golf course, you got to take your time. You can't rush. You make a lot of mistakes when you try to rush. Um, it don't even, I don't care if it's your tee box. It can be your tee box. You can have honors. If you aren't comfortable, you feel like you still a little handsy, a little something, tell somebody else to go. Hey, bro, you can take the tee box. Go ahead. I ain't ready. Get yourself situated so you can play the best game of golf you know how to play. Get a tea sock on. So, 
should be all right. Tip the tree a little bit, but we should be fine. All right, so this small ball landed. Didn't make it to the fairway. It looked like I drew the ball, which I rarely draw the ball. But uh, yeah, I'm slightly on the downhill. Not comfortable for me, but I have a club that I'm comfortable hitting, which is my hybrid. I'm 180 yards, and I know how to fade my hybrid. So I'm gonna play a comfortable shot, even though I don't have a comfortable thing. I got a comfortable shot, which gives me a little bit more confidence to swing. So let's see if we can get it close with a nice little fade with my uh. like that. Oh, baby, that's perfect. Yeah, a little dog, but I think she gets the green. I think she's on the green. We will see. Just like that. Oh, baby, that's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so this is where my ball ended up. It actually rolled through the green. Um, sent to the back of the green. The reason for that is I hit the perfect shot, but I didn't calculate that I was downhill, that the ball was going to go downhill, which gives me a little bit more distance. I didn't calculate that part, so that's why I went long. So those, that is something else that, you know, a lot of us don't do when we get on the course. We don't calculate all aspects of our shot. We don't calculate the wind. We don't calculate the lie downhill, uphill, blah, 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 blah. You know, we expect when we see a number, we're supposed to use that club regardless of the lot. You see 140 downhill, you got your 9-9. Nine, nine. 140 uphill, you got your 9-9. Nine, nine. 140 over a tree, you got your 9-9. Nine, nine. Like, no, you got to know how to adapt and maneuver through your club. But either or, I'm going with pitchy, pitchy. Even after all I just said that, I'm still going with pitchy, pitchy. And I'm uh, try to get it to roll out and get myself in position for a good part here. Perfect. Slow down. Head now. Okay, not bad. I put a little bit too much mustard on her. But you know, she rolled out past the hole about a good look it looked like a good seven feet. But we should be able to stick this close if not make it. And then, you know, uh possibly part this joke. Oh, you know, left for out, left for out, left for out. <laughs> oh, so we can't put this in for the bowl. Oh, I missed it. It's fine. No. That's a double bogey on hole number seven. Let's move on to hole number eight, man. We still in a good position. Okay, hole number eight, 400 yards, straight down, no wind. It's getting pretty dark out here, so, you know, I'm trying to keep my eye on the ball here. But, uh, we're going to try to finish strong, man. Let's go. Go, man. Here we go. Beautiful. Another fairway. Probably nice. You know, um, a lot of people will worry about that double. Like, oh, I can't believe I got a double on that last hole. Hey, I'm not worried about that double because on one of these holes, I got a damn double. So, to me, that's that on, you know, so that's bogey bogey. That's me, yeah, yeah. 
And it's getting really dark out here, you know. Uh, but the owners, they know we out. Oh, damn, I got 15%. Let's go. Hopefully, I can finish strong real quick. Got one down here in the middle of the fairway. I'm approaching it now. I got 180 yards to the green. So I'm going to play that fade hybrid again. Y'all can see what I got going on here. Come on now. Y'all stuck in there? Y'all wanna go? Okay. So y'all can see that ball on the ground there. Yes, yeah, sir. What's good, bro golfers? It's your boy, DJ, man. This is the point where my phone decided to die, unfortunately. But I wanted to make this outro video to let y'all know what I end up doing. Um, I end up shooting nine over. I shot an 81, which is a success in my book. Because that's normally not what I shoot. I shoot in the 90s. So I ended up shooting an 81 today. I feel very good about that, you know, and hopefully I can take that confidence with me to the next round. Um, yeah, man, hey, I apologize for, you know, the editing, and I know things wasn't up to par, but please don't shame me for that. This is my first time doing this. This is one of the first videos. No, I'm sorry. This is the first video that I've shot. So, you know, um, I hope y'all continue to watch videos and continue on this journey with us. You know, uh, me and the other bro golfers that's a part of the squad. I want to give a shout out to my boy Tim. You know, shout out to my boy Tim Thompson. Shout out to my boy Kenny B. You already know. Shout out to my boy Tyrell Day. You know, shout out to JB. Shout out to Shoe. Shout out to Big Money Jamal. Make sure you say a big money before you say his name. Big money, Jamar. Shout out to all the boys, man. You already know, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Not shout out to the boys. Shout out to the bros, man. Those are my bros. So, you know, um, we just started this YouTube thing. And, you know, we just want to give y'all some good content from some real amateur golfers. I know some of y'all watch these golf videos and y'all see these professionals Sticking it close by the hole on a par five with 245 into the green, and you like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't do that either. But, you know, that's why we're bringing this content to y'all, man. we bringing this content to the bros. Not the pros, to the bros. To the guys that, you know, get the Saturday off or get that Sunday off and they can get with their boys and have a cold one and go out and play a round of 18. You know what I mean? So that's what this content is for. We're making it for y'all. Oh, please. Let me not forget about the beautiful ladies. Ladies, this is for you too. Because I know you get out with your females and y'all like to go play. But we all amateurs here. And I want y'all to come to this page and understand that this is the man cave. This is where you can come and let your hair down. You ain't got to be stressed because you topped your second shot and you going to miss the green. No, this is where you come let your hair down. And you come relax, get some good content, get some good laughter, get some good entertainment. That's what we're doing it for. So, man, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share to your buddies, man. Because you ain't the only one. You not the only one shooting in the 90s. You not the only one shooting 102, 115, 120. You not the only one that's shooting in the 80s. We all do that. Ain't nobody pros. But we all bros 
Pound it. Uh, I hope y'all pound me back one more time. Pound it. Eh, my boy. Anyway, but yeah, man, like I said, man, like, comment, subscribe, share to your people, man. We're going to enjoy this journey together, man. Any comments that y'all post, I will answer freely. You know what I'm saying? I will come and I will comment and I will interact with anybody that subscribes with the page. Hey, I'll interact with anybody that doesn't subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm an open book, baby. So, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Sorry I didn't get the rest of the footage, but like I said, it's the first one. But we're going to have more to come. You know what I'm saying? Better footage, better angles, more uh, more content, more different contests and, and, and challenges. Like we, We're going to bring it all to you. So put your 3D glasses on because we're coming straight for you. All right? And just remember, when you're watching this channel, understand that none of us, are pro golfers, but we all bro golfers. See y'all on the next video, man. Thank you again. What's good, bro golfers? It's your boy DJ, man. This is the point where my phone decided to die, unfortunately. But I wanted to make this outro video to let y'all know what I end up doing. Um, I end up shooting nine over. I shot an 81, which is a success in my book. Because that's normally not what I shoot. I shoot in the 90s. So I end up shooting an 81 today. I feel very good about that, you know. And hopefully I can take that confidence with me to the next round. Um... Yeah, man, hey, I apologize for, you know, the editing, and I know things wasn't up to par, but please don't shame me for that. This is my first time doing this. This is one of the first videos. No, I'm sorry. This is the first video that I've shot. So, you know, um, I hope y'all continue to watch videos and continue on this journey with us. You know, uh, me and the other bro golfers that's a part of the squad. I want to give a shout out to my boy Tim. You know, shout out to my boy Tim Thompson. Shout out to my boy Kenny B. You already know. Shout out to my boy Tyrell Day. You know, shout out to JB. Shout out to Shoe. Shout out to Big Money Jamal. Make sure you say a big money before you say his name. Big money, Jamar. Shout out to all the boys, man. You already know, man. Oh, I'm sorry. Not shout out to the boys. Shout out to the bros, man. Those are my bros. So, you know, um, we just started this YouTube thing. And, you know, we just want to give y'all some good content from some real amateur golfers. I know some of y'all watch these golf videos and y'all see these professionals Sticking it close by the hole on a par five with 245 into the green. And you like, oh, I can't do that. Yeah, I feel you. You know what I'm saying? Because I can't do that either. But, you know, that's why we bringing this content to y'all, man. We bringing this content to the bros. Not the pros. To the bros. To the guys that, you know... Get the Saturday off or get that Sunday off and they can get with their boys and have a cold one and go out and play a round of 18. You know what I mean? So that's what this content is for. We're making it for y'all. Oh, please. Let me not forget about the beautiful ladies. Ladies, this is for you too. Because I know you get out with your females and y'all like to go play. But we all amateurs here. And I want y'all to come to this page and understand that this is the man cave. This is where you can come and let your hair down. You ain't got to be stressed because you topped your second shot and you going to miss the green. No, this is where you come let your hair down. And you come relax, get some good content, get some good laughter, get some good entertainment. That's what we're doing it for. So, man, if you like what you saw, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share to your buddies, man. Because you ain't the only one. 
You're not the only one shooting in the 90s. You're not the only one shooting the 102, 115, 120. You're not the only one that's shooting in the 80s. We all do that. Ain't nobody pros. But we all bros. Pound it. <laughs> I hope y'all pound me back one more time. Pound it. <clears throat> My boy. Anyway, but yeah, man, like I said, man, like, comment, subscribe, share to your people, man. We're going to enjoy this journey together, man. Any comments that y'all post, I will answer freely. You know what I'm saying? I will come and I will comment and I will interact with anybody that subscribes with the page. Hey, I'll interact with anybody that doesn't subscribe. You know what I'm saying? I'm an open book, baby. So, you know, I hope y'all enjoyed this video, man. Sorry I didn't get the rest of the footage, but like I said, it's the first one. But we're going to have more to come. You know what I'm saying? Better footage, better angles, more uh, more content, more different contests and, and, and challenges. Like we, We're going to bring it all to you. So put your 3D glasses on because we're coming straight for you. All right? And just remember, when you're watching this channel, understand that none of us, are pro golfers, but we all bro golfers. See y'all on the next video, man. Thank you again.